Greetings all, it's Eagle1023 coming to you from Tampa, Florida. It is what, uh, the 2nd, I think, of February, uh, Sunday. It is 11.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm putting this video out, it's been a while, um, after watching a video from E. Kinney and Linda. How you doing, Linda? Um, I love this woman. Um, she put out a video, it's called The Silence is Sad, because it is, it is for a football game and not humanity. And, um... This video really got me thinking. Um, and what I did was I said, you know, God, she's so right. Linda, you're, you're so right. Um, God bless you on trying to bring people together. Um, I think you're trying to create an impossible miracle, but um, but I do I do give you credit for, for at least trying. But um, anyway, your video sparked me to do a little look at stuff. You know, I'm, I'm, I can't help, I'm always thinking and I wanted to, to look at something here, and, and so what I did was I went to Start Page. I don't use Google. I use Start Page because they actually protect your privacy. <laughs> Who knew? And some people, that matters. Um, so I use Start Page, but that's beside the point here. What I did was I wanted to know how many Americans will watch the Super Bowl, and I went back and I looked at this, and I saw here at the IB Times that they... They, they suggested almost 118 million Americans were watching as the Giants celebrated their championship. This was last year. Another one down here says 111 million. I think another one down further says 110 million. But it gives you an idea. It's the biggest show of the year. It gives you an idea of how many Americans. Let's We'll, we'll say about 110 million Americans, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and close this out now. But, um, you know, it, it made me think, 110 million Americans, that's a lot of people that are focusing on one issue, on one thing, and that being the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl is really important. You know, and pe people have a tough, difficult lives. They work their ass off, um, and they just try to keep their head above water. They just want a little time to, uh, to relax and enjoy themselves. And, you know, the Super Bowl is an event that allows people to come together. And they just kind of, like, kick their feet up, maybe have a few wings, celebrate a couple of beers, maybe, um, who knows. But it's just, it brings people together. And I kept thinking to myself, you know, what if you could get 110 million Americans to do something else? Something that in the, in the big scheme of things matters so much more than a, than a ball game. You know, the ball game is entertainment, and there's a place in everyone's life for entertainment. But what if you could get 110 million Americans together to take a stand for something that affects everyone's daily lives? You know, here it is, the Super Bowl 2014 is going to be the worst weather in Super Bowl history. And yet you're going to have this stadium packed and the area surrounding area around the stadium packed. There will be people coming out in the worst of conditions to celebrate a game. You know, an important game in America. Um, but what if you could get them to do, to do more than that? And here's why Linda put this video together, the silence is sad. And, and you look at it here, Southern California cable blackout amid Super Bowl ends. They had a blackout in Southern California, and so a lot of people in Southern California couldn't watch all of the Super Bowl. And a lot of people were pretty pissed off about that, and understandably so, but, you know, what if they directed their energy to something else? And I'm thinking, 110 million Americans, and I look at this, restore democracy by ending corporate personhood, okay? At the government's whitehouse.gov website, they have this site called We the People. It's where you voice, it's your voice in our government. And there's been a case, it's called the Citizens United case, which basically in 2010 gives corporations the same rights as citizens. And it basically opens the floodgates to anybody with power and money to destroy our democracy, destroy the republic. They can buy and put, they've bought and paid our, our representatives. And I look at this, this petition's already closed. And I look at this, 26,126 signatures. I was one of the, uh, the signatories. 26,000 Americans took the time to sign this petition. 110 million Americans will spend four hours watching the Super Bowl. And 26,000 Americans found the time, the five minutes it took to fill this to sign this petition, to sign something that could literally change life as we know it. Something so incredibly important. And, and I gotta tell you, America, this makes me sad. It really makes me sad to see this, where our, you know, our priorities there's nothing wrong with entertaining yourself, but but isn't there a higher calling? No, we uh, 
you know, it's time. It's time that we stand up. And, and this is just an example. You know, here it is. We the people. If 110 million Americans took 10 minutes just during halftime, instead of watching the Illuminati halftime report, you could actually take 10 minutes of your time to go and sign this petition that moved to amend. All these links will be in the description part of the video. Imagine if 110 million Americans tonight signed this petition. The news tomorrow would be about 110 million Americans. Oh my God, the, the, America's gone crazy. The people have awakened. All of America came together to say, end this madness. We're going to amend the Constitution, and we the people are going to take our power back. There was a stampede, America, to amend the Constitution, and we got 110 million Americans concerned enough about this issue. They took five to ten minutes out of their time to express themselves, to put a stop to this, the, the, the system of madness that we support, this corrupt, cancerous system that runs our country into the ground, in fact, the globe into the ground. Imagine that, if you could do that. And here, here's another one. You know, here's another democracy. Join the movement to take back the democracy. It's another petition you could sign. You know, democracy is for people. It's democracyisforpeople.org. Imagine if 110 million Americans signed this one. 110 million Americans decided, hey, you know what, I've got five minutes while I'm waiting during the commercial break, while I'm waiting for the, the game to come back, I, I'm going to sign this petition. You know, fracking. Your water and your land and your air are being poisoned every second of every minute of every hour of every day. Your kids and your grandkids are going to want to kill us for sitting on our ass. They're going to be so disgusted with us because we literally wrecked their future. Hydraulic fracking, also known as fracking, is a highly destructive and dangerous process of drilling and injecting fluid into the ground at high pressure in order to fracture shale rock to release the natural gas inside. This extraction method poses incredible environmental and human health risks. In fact, chemicals used during fracking can leach out of the system, contaminating groundwater and harming air quality, potentially poisoning nearby communities. And we already know this is happening. We know it's happening in Utah, in Wyoming. We know it's happening in Texas and Pennsylvania. We know this is happening. New York is up in arms about it. They're trying to talk the governor of New York out of allowing open fracking in New York. Uh, at least you have a mayor there in New York City that's against fracking, and he said so this past week. Um, but Imagine if 110 million Americans signed this, stop fracking now. You've got a handful of sociopaths who are going to get very wealthy off of destroying this planet. And the rest of us are going to suffer with increased health risks, increased rates of cancer, poisoned water. You know, I know, uh, you know, I know Nestle and Avala and all these water, Avion, I mean, and, and all these companies um, Zephyr Hills water, they're all going to love you for this because you're not going to be able to drink out of your tap. We've already seen the, the, the people starting their taps on fire. They put a lighter to their tap, run the tap water, and it literally goes up in flames. But there's, there's hundreds of examples of this. We know it's happening. So you're, you're going to, the, the big companies, the big water companies are going to thank you, and they're going to raise the price of those bottles of water. You can bet on it. Um, imagine if 110 million Americans came together and said no to fracking. Something so important. We're talking about the extinction of a species here. America, America, where's our head at? Where's our priorities? Nullify the NSA. Hey, Utah, turn the water off. Introduce the Fourth Amendment Protection Act in Utah to stop NSA spying. We built a multi-billion dollar facility in, in Utah, America. We spent multi-billions of dollars so that they can spy on you. And they're going to use millions upon millions of gallons of water every week to cool the system that's used with your tax money to spy on you so they can build a dossier against each and every American. Because there will be a one world currency someday and you will not piss off the state because they'll pull up your little file and they'll say, oh, you know what, we know you're into X, Y, and Z. We know what porn you looked at. We know that you said this about so-and-so or about this issue. We, we don't think you're very patriotic. And this is 1984 right here before your eyes, and it's, it's literally unfolding before your eyes. Imagine if 110 million Americans signed this petition right here at change.org, nullify NSA. This agency should be dead and buried. They're using the NSA against you, and you are paying to literally 
enslave yourself, America. You're literally paying to enslave yourself with this garbage. There's a petition out there. If 110 million Americans sign this petition, you can bet your sweet ass those so-called representatives in Washington would wake up. They would say, oh my God, this sleeping giant is awake. No more sheep. America found its balls again. America found its voice. The American people are awake and they get it. And they're speaking out about this mess, this fracking, the, the GMOs. Here's another petition. Ten minutes, man. In the time you watch the Super Bowl, you could assign each and every one of these petitions. Imagine 110 million Americans standing up on the issues that really matter instead of the programming that's distracting you on the television screen. There's nothing wrong with watching football. There's nothing wrong with taking time out for yourself. I, there's, that's not what this video is about. This video is about prioritizing. This video is about recognizing that there's a world out there that needs you. There's a country out here that needs you to stand up. It's time to wake up. And that's what I, I put this video together for. Here's one to end nuclear weapons. Fukushima is an extension level event. Um, e, e News, that's all you have to do is go to e, e News and you can learn all you don't want to know about Fukushima. Um, this is a ticking time bomb, and it is literally going to kill tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people on this planet. The west coast of the United States, God help you all, the west coast of Canada, Alaska, Mexico, all the way down in South America, all of the western coast states in any of these areas, you, you need to be aware that you're in harm's way. And just because the government has kept the lid on this and will not report the truth to you, doesn't mean it's not happening. You're in danger. And you need to be aware of this. Um, there's plenty of information. You know, Google isn't your friend, but StartPage is your friend. You can you can go to StartPage and, and do research. Uh, you know, I'm not here to create panic or fear because there's nothing to fear. You just, we're all going to live and die. But this is happening while the Super Bowl is being played. There's many, literally so much pollution, so much radiation being released on a minute-by-minute -minute basis from Fukushima and will be for as long as we can see into the future. Um, and this stuff doesn't just go away, folks. It accumulates. And it doesn't just sit in one place. Um, imagine if 110 million Americans signed the petitions here. You know? Stop uh, deadly GMOs. Monsatan's Satan's deadly GMOs. These are rats that were fed GMOs in a controlled study in France. All right, all of the rats were affected by these GMOs. The seeds are injected with pesticides, people. I don't know if you know how the system works, but Monsatan injects its pesticide or injects Roundup pesticides into the seeds to make them disease resistant. And um, these pesticides within the seeds create a plant that has these pesticides within the plants that we eat the fruits and vegetables from. Now, this doesn't just affect the mice. This affects human beings. Um, the increase in cancer and, and, and risks, heart disease and other obesity and all this didn't happen by accident. You're looking at the cause. One of the many causes, fracking will be in line with these guys. I'm waiting for Google and Monsanto to marry um, and then they can have an evil child. We'll call it fracking. Um, but this is us. This is us too, folks. This is, you know, this is what we're eating. GMOs should be labeled. Imagine if 110 million Americans signed this. Stop these deadly GMOs. The, the USDA, the FDA, all of these agencies that are supposed to protect you and serve the public are bought and paid for. They're run by former lobbyists, former people that worked for Monsanto. And that's a fact. This administration is no different than the last administration, is no different than the previous People that work in these big corporations now head those agencies that are supposed to protect you. And if you think they're going to protect you, 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 I don't know what you're thinking. I really don't know what you're thinking. This is us, people. This is why you see the increase. It used to be we were very rarely knew anybody that had cancer. Now we know every, everybody around us seems to be getting cancer. Everybody's dying of cancer or has cancer and is fighting cancer. And I'm not even going to get into um, cannabis oil how they have the cures for cancer, how they have, how we have literally free energy devices that can power up your homes, your cars, your, all the airplanes. We don't need nuclear powered plants. We don't need coal burning plants. You can literally put a box the size of a basketball in your basement and it can run the power for your house. And it's free energy. 
It's the zero point. Zero point is real. Zero point is real, okay? This is not some made up energy. The zero point energy was discovered by Nikola Tesla back in the early 20th century. These, these practical devices exist. There are There's so much data out there if people research it. So this isn't just something made up. Zero point energy exists. Um, the reason why it's not released is because the big energy companies will suck every gallon of gas of oil out, out of the ground that they can. By the way, oil is the blood of this planet. Um, we're literally removing the blood of the planet. Um, the tectonic plates, they need oil to keep them smoother, to, to lessen the severity of earthquakes. I mean, everything has a purpose here. There's, it wasn't just in the ground for nothing. Um, but anyway, I'll get back to this, you know, about the deadly GMOs. And I know this is a long video, but I just wanted to point all this out. This is us, again, you know, and there's another, here's another site, you know, Millions Against Monsanto. Again, the links to these um, petitions are in the description. Uh, not that I expect miracles, but I would be pleasantly surprised if, if people would, you know, pass this video on. I, I'm going to leave it up for anyone to recopy if you want. Uh, it's up to you. You can you can repost uh, this anywhere you want. Um, I, I don't believe in censorship. I say have at it. Um, I think this information is important enough to get out there. And I do care about our, our children, our grandchildren's future. Um, I wish more would, you know, would take a stand. More people would stand up and say, hey, I'm going to join this fight. Um, I've just had an awakening, and it's my turn to act. You know, again, 110 million Americans could do a lot. You can literally change the world, um, be the change that you wish to see. That's us. We're waiting on us. Um, and so is God. God's waiting on us, too. He's given us free will. You know, here's all these petitions to stop the deadly GMOs. Help stop GMOs from being produced. Move on petitions has one. Well, millions against Monsanto petition. FDA petition to label GMOs. There's one million signatures. Sign it today. I mean, there are people that are acting, but we need 110 million Americans to act. We need all of you. It's your country. It's your money. It's your future. It's your children and your grandchildren's future. And it doesn't take that much time. We're not asking, you know, for everybody to spend hours a day. This is, you can express yourself in so many ways. Um, and these petitions are out there for the world to see. And I know I, when I did this about, um, I talked about Fukushima, about the, the end of nuclear weapons. It, it's all the same. It's all the same, folks. Nuclear weapons, um, nuclear weapons is a result of nuclear power plants that create the energy that they can use to create these mass, uh, weapons of mass destruction. You know, and you have to ask yourself, America, who are we to tell Iran they can't have the same weapons that we have and have used? We're not the police of the world. The world, we're not, I, I know that it's in our nature as Americans to think that we are the super, the superior country and that everything that America wants, they get because it's just the way it is. Well, the rest of the world is doesn't see it that way. Um, and it's time that we, um, you know, we kind of concentrate on our own ills, that we, we clean up our own house. We've got a lot of work to do. Um, so, and, and this is the one about the, the petitions to stop GMOs. I'm not even going to go into Dane Wigington's work on geoengineering. It is happening. It happens every day. Chemtrails do exist. Contrails exist and chemtrails exist. There's a video that Dane Wigington put out that shows the planes in the air being filmed from behind where they literally turn on and turn off the spigots. They turn and turn off the chemicals that are being sprayed. And you can watch it. Um, just... Go to Dane Wigington, um, what is it, www.geoengineeringwatch.org. Watch his seminars on YouTube. Watch them. You can watch with your own eyes and watch these planes spraying this crap. You have a whistleblower, this, this young lady that's real big news right now. She's getting death threats, but she works in the United States Air Force. She actually ordered the, the chemicals, the, the strontium, barium, and aluminum that they used to make this deadly concoction, and fluoride, by the way. They're also spraying us with fluoride, and that's another issue. There are so many issues that face that we face. Fluoride in the water, that's poison in the water. It's always been poison in the water. It is not healthy for your teeth. It is not healthy for your body. It's not healthy for anyone. You know, it is, it is uh, industrial waste, and it's too expensive for industrial companies to dispose of the waste properly, so they came up with this scheme to just dispose of it in the drinking water. We'll just put it in the water systems. You know, hey, it's watered down a little bit. No one will be no one will be the wiser. 
We'll just say it protects teeth. Who benefits? Big business benefits. You know, the American Dental Association loves it. You know, they're making money. They get paid to promote this pollution. You know, the American Medical Association gets paid when people get sick from all these all these illnesses that are born out of the abuses of this planet and of the human race. People are making money off of poisoning us. And, and it's up to us to put a stop to it, you know. Zero Point does exist. There's plenty of information about Zero Point. Please, Zero Point Energy. There's so many petitions you can you can do. You can sign any one of these. And, and I'll get off my soapbox here, but, but I care. Um, and I think most of you care. So I'll go back to the beginning of this. This started out as, as you know, how many people watch the Super Bowl? I bet you it's 120 million plus this year. Watched in 2014, and God, yeah, I, every one of you, I know y'all. I, you know, I see. I'm on Facebook. I watch people's posts and stuff. I know people have difficult lives. I know that there's a lot of, of things that are going on in people's personal lives. But this is a call to all of you, all of my friends out there, all of the subscribers to. I've got nearly a thousand subscribers to my channel. I want to thank all of you for sticking around. Um, to anyone that watches this video, this is a call to you. It's our time. This is the time to stand up. And, and, and if 110 million Americans, and I'm speaking specifically of Americans because this is a country that I do love, if we can stand up and you know, come together and watch entertainment, watch a football game, that does matter. Yes, it pulls us together as a nation. So this isn't being critical of people that are watching the Super Bowl. This is a, a way to point out that 110 million, million Americans can come together for issues that are just as important. Or more, more important, and we need to. We need to do this. You know, please, please, if you watch this video all the way through, God bless you. Um, I, I hope that I've triggered something in you to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to go through the list of seven, eight, nine, however many petitions I have. The links below this video, and I'm going to sign them. I'm going to take an hour of my day, and I'm going to sign them. And I'm telling you tonight, you, you can tell your kids. You know what I did? I did something today that I haven't done in a while. And, and, and I, 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 I've secured a better future for you. And I'm going to tell my friends to do the same thing. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make this viral. I'm going to push this. It's time, you know. We, we need to stand up. We need to say enough is enough. And, and that's what this video is all about, you know. I say I hope those of you that attended the Super Bowl, I hope that you were safe. I hope you stayed as warm as possible. Um, you know, God bless you all. And um, God, can we make this happen? Can we come together? Can we do this? It does matter. It does matter. So um, anyway, it's Eagle 1023. I'm going to go ahead and sign out now. Uh, again, thank you, Linda. Thank you for this video. Thank you for all that you do um, to so many of you out there. I saw your shout out video too, Linda. I really like that. I've been doing that for years. Um, there are so many channels out there that deserve a shout out. And um, so anyway, I'll, I'll end it here. And um, I want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this. And get in the game, folks. Get in the game. Not just the football game. Get in the game. Get in America's game. Let's 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 put an end to this crap. Let's pick an issue. Pick all issues. Sign these petitions. Write your congressman. Call them. Do something. Do something. Help us. Help us put a, a stop to that which ails us. So Eagle 1023 signing out. I'll be back. All right. Love you all. Bye. Namaste.